What up, guys? This is Monarch Techie Gaming here. Um, today I will be doing a um live internet broadcast um in how to get mods into PTTM, also known as 18 Words is still pedal to the metal. Uh, I am at www.scr dash rigs dot com I will put that link in the description below for you guys uh, this is why I get some of my mods from my uh, treks and trailers um, I do have another mod that um, another website I use that um, that I use for mods but um, I seem to have lost that website name so I'm on the second one the second one right here it's pretty good I mean I'm not gonna say it's the best but it's it's pretty good. Um, also, if you got 18 with still Holland, you can also get 18 with still Holland mods right here. But since I do not have Holland, I'm just going to um, <clears throat> uh, get um, some mods for 18 with still Pedro. Okay, so most of these trailers right here are foreign trailers. Um, I have that trailer right there, so that's in my game. Uh, I'm. Ch Ooh, that seems interesting, so I'm gonna get that flatbed. Actually, no, I'm gonna get this. This one seems interesting. So, <clears throat> I have mods already in my game, so I'm just gonna show you how to get mods and how to put them into the game. Um, I'm not gonna show you them in the game because. Unfortunately, um, I can't do that right now. Most of these are foreign trailers, as you see in um, um, Air Truck Simulator or Air Truck Simulator 2. Um, but I do have that modded also. Uh, but I can't do a video on that because unfortunately the mods I put in it made my game super laggy. <coughs> so I'm going to try and get that fixed for you guys so I can um, show you. But it made my game super laggy and I don't want to do a video for you guys with a super laggy uh, game. So gonna go scroll through here oh this one has pages so that looks like a cool truck so I'm just gonna put that one in that I'm not gonna download a whole bunch I mean I'm only gonna download some that I think are cool and that I would like to have so I need a Second page because I'm done on the first. So that's a pretty cool track right there. I'm gonna download that and okay. So there is only three more tracks I am going to download on here. So I'm just going to put these on my home menu. Ooh, no, GTA 4 goes okay. okay. So I'm gonna put these on my home menu right now, and I will show you in a minute once I got these all loaded up on how to um put it in. So one, two, three, four, five, eight. I got eight truck mods here. I'm gonna show you. One, Four, five, six, seven, and then this century is going to be eight. Okay, so.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. Uh, two, three, five, one, and I should have. Oh, my bad, is nine. I forgot that's P three seven seven seven. Okay, so I got the mods right here. I'm just gonna open up this first one right here, which is P three seven seven race. I'm gonna open it up, and there are tons of files in there. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna take this folder. I'm gonna extract it. Um, you're gonna go to documents. You're gonna find the file. Um, here's 18 with steel pedal of the metal. I found the file. You're gonna go to mods. Every game you download should have a mods file in the documents. Just click on mods and drop the file. If there is a category, like, okay, I'm just gonna drop that file in. Oh, unzip. Okay. Yes to all. So I'm just gonna open up documents again. I'm gonna show you um, where's Ring of Rod. Ring of Rod. Okay, so here's rings, um, rigs of rods right here. Um, this is mods right here. This is the mods folder. So some games do have. When you click on mods, they do have categories. As in vehicles, terrains, packs, logos. So if I have a vehicles, I'm just going to click vehicles. And I'm just going to extract that to the vehicle file. And it will show up. Now if you do extract it, say I had a Volvo or a Peterbilt um, semi-truck. Or Freightliner, then let's just go Freightliner Sentry. I had a Freightliner Sentry and I put it in the terrains load uh, mods file. It's not going to show up. And it will not work for the game. It will show up as not there. So, 18 was still pedal of the metal. What? No, okay. Mod. Now, if you keep unzipping mods into here, it should go automatic to where you won't have to choose the file. Or just the file will be the automatic. WinZip will recognize that for you as in Okay, yeah, it's been recognizing it for me. I didn't really know what mods I had in here So I know what the mod names are now so it recognizes it automatically which is a cool thing right there so I'm just gonna Put these three mods right there in their cycle just so I know I use them. And I'm going to extract, unzip, move to the recycle bin. I'm gonna. Oh, what is it doing? Extract. And then documents, 18 words of steel, pedal to the metal, mods, unzip. And you will have the stuff there. And then as you can see, it just got put into the file. Now, you want to be careful, guys, when you are putting mods in because... You don't want to put a whole bunch of mods into the game because then your game will not load up. Um, uh, your game will. The files will corrupt your game and uh, won't load up and they'll keep crashing and Xing you out. And so if it does that, you're just going to have to take some mods out, like as in. Aero Truck Simulator 2, I put some mods in there, and my game wouldn't even load up. It would, as soon as I clicked on the icon, it would crash. So I had to go through manually and find out what mod would corrupt my game. And unfortunately, I found the mod that was corrupting my game, and I took it out.
And then during my game, there was mods still corrupting my game. So I had to go through manually because that game is different than any other game. You can go, once you open up Air Trek Simulator 2, you can go and it'll bring up your mod menu. So I had to go through manually and find out what mods I had to turn off and what mods I could keep on. Unfortunately, it was my map terrain mod I put in. Yeah, so the map pack wasn't fully downloaded, so I had to use the standard map pack, which I was kind of mad about that, but it was kind of worth it because I got some pretty cool mods in that game. So we're just going to extract and unzip. So, that's all for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, and, uh, Comment below for any suggestions and I hope